If you're headed for the sunken ruins down south, you better be ready for a fight. A group of Tanakh set up camp near there. Machine riders. Word is, they're not friendly. I'll be careful. Sounds like rebels. Awfully close to Karja territory. I should take a look when I can. This tastes as good as it looks. Swoop down on me if I'm not careful.
blight is worse here. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. How goes it? Wind carry. Oh, I, I am very unfamiliar with you. No good can come from a chorus in disharmony. Mark my word. Tomorrow and so. surviving out here. Keep your guard up if you're heading southwest of Plainsaw. We've had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like the Utaru could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. Mm -hmm. I'm here, as promised. That's singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some 
in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone, but Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on? Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The... the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe, and most in the chorus, want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osaram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. They can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then, yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered.
So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's Sir Tanakh doing in Plainsville? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. That a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there.
reminds me of Mother's heart back in Lenora Sacred Lands. Everyone would crowd around to hear what the matriarchs had to say. You must miss him. A little. May the wind carry you. They have to break sometime, don't they? So long as there's disharmony, they will continue. Halt, Outlander. The chorus is still deliberating. Nervous? Bringing an Outlander before the chorus. I hope this works. It'll be worth it, so you'll see. Careful, Outlander. going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it so, will. So and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. 
We know of no spirit in the cave, only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please. Remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah. By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. and around. Fighting in the fields ahead. These machines don't look wrong. I've seen these machines before.
Do you really think they can do something about all of this? If I'm right, then... yeah. More machines! These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just me now if I can see in that cave. trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! You can take them out, Aloy. 
On your lead. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. It's over. to the cave. Mine!
we shouldn't leave it here. May the land gods forgive our trespass. What is that? A kind of wall. Made of light. Up Follow here. your lead, Aloy. Keep some extra on hand. door. <sighs> to understand what's going on in there, you're gonna need one of these. On the temple, just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I hope. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. to find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Machines are here. We'll have to take them out. Right behind you, Aloy.
So this is a cauldron. Where machines are born. It looks like one, but... If the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. Spirit, you're after us. In here. Maybe, Maybe. But... I have a feeling that's not all. like these makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the narrow tunes will come to the right. <sighs> Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. shoot the gears. I can walk them into place. Make a path up. Oh, it didn't work. The gears have to be in the right spot to lock into place. on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down. Starcaster won't work on that. What's that thing beyond the wall? Working on it. This crate should be heavy enough. Can't fit the crate through that opening. I think I can get the crate through that shield.
a way across. I can get them into the right position. That did it. The gears on the pillars should be exposed now. Looks like there are only two pillars this time. floor panel nearby to activate them. Drawing back. We can climb up that vent. How 
do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Get up to the node. Too much without ammo.
see what we can do. Come on over, you two. Big place. Okay, we'll keep looking. Down there. I think I can reach it if I can. Over facilities before to build deadly machines. But it wasn't always hostile. It used to be part of something good. Something called Gaia. More of those cables covering that door. I think we're almost at the core. Be ready. Got your back.
We have to get down there. That dome of light. Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to get down. Still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. They must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. Looks like Festus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. All the data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. You've got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then.
Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. this place. Seen anything Error. Like before? Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well... Yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Okay, Zo. Zo? All this. Minerva. Hephaestus. Gaia. This is what will help heal Plainsong? It's hard to explain. I mean, I barely understand it, but yeah. It's what Aloy's been looking for this whole time. find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Alert! Restricted access! You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. What are all those cables in the center for? Huh. Might be able to pull that open. This leads. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. Looks like I should head up. And I'm out. 
outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the prison lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? And why did they want it back up? to collide to that ledge. Those rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Ah, oh, another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. She can live again, but only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Let's cease. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes.
Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Uh, I'm a what? Scanning data. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Laurel, so... This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. I suggest you explore this facility, Aloy. Until my initial... What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number so of people this was in here. Supposed to be or maybe just a few. The lab. To start with. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... sabotaged things. 
It wasn't supposed to be this way. Hey, Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did. With the help of machines. Through that door is a trail that leads towards Plainsong. So I could head back east if I need to, once we're done here. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. and Aruthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach, procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. 
A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away and... and... Why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. 
Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world? Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. You said Sirius is... really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light-years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. 
If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... how could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... it's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders? Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus. From Silent's interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration... Halved gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. 
The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakt territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? 
Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Ball? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Gaia, what is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could get the data from them, use it to reconnect them, and restore the display. Okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first, check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. No good. Door's locked until Gaia can restore access. this way. I think we must have traveled high up the mountain since entering the sacred cave. It's hard to say. I can't tell if it's day or night in here either.
Tanakh clan lands are out west? Yes. These mountains serve as the border between our tribes. Few Utaru venture out there. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. The world always seems quieter when it snows. Outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well, then. Be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Sounds like the Tanakh could use a hand dealing with these rebels.
hand out here is sick with blight too. But we'll be able to heal all of it. Once Guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. soon enough.
to knock settlement. Gonna have to watch my step. Gala marches to her defeat. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. I don't need a chaplain telling me the battle. The real battle is arguing with you. Wounded. What's going on? Outlander, will you trade with the Tanakh? May your enemies swiftly fall. May strength and honor be with Hikaro this day. I, I can still fight. Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner, with a hair like blood. The Outlander from the Embassy. You killed Greta, Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It's harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Parts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. It means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. I must be dehydrated. What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. 
What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First Sawtooths, then Ravagers. Now, a sandblasted Thunderjaw hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. Had to leave half my hunters behind to fend it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. I heard him calling you Chaplain. What does that mean? It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Regala was a legend among our clan, fearless and unrelenting. A marshal to Hikaru, chief of all Tanakh. His judgment made flesh. What changed? The Karja king asked for peace, and Hikaru agreed. Regala wanted payment in kind for the atrocities the Karja committed. A Tanakh empire that would push into the east. So she challenged Hikaru's decision. He had no choice but to face her in combat. Hikaru won. She should have died by his hand then, but the chief let her live. For Tanakh, that kind of mercy is a bitter drink. Now that she rides machines and murders marshals, we might not be able to ignore her camps in the desert for much longer. No one in the desert plans touching those camps. This is between Regala and Hikaru. If the chief's strong enough to lead, he'll prevail. If he doesn't, He'll make way for one who is. That's a little harsh, isn't it? So is the desert. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I have something to take care of first. You go on ahead. I'll wait at the outpost for as long as I can. May the Ten protect you then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. Yeah, you do that.
Champion killer. Well met. Stuff for the stash. Oh, you came. I'm touched. You'll have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon and harvesting parts. Feel free to take any supplies you need. Our prey isn't far. I'm right behind you. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. I can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand in our own clan mode. Our so-called commander's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. Do you really think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to fight tooth and nail to survive. And I'm um, guessing that someone is you? Make sure everyone gets all the water they need. No matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'd be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. Secret ingredient for someone, I'll bet. We're here. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Now we block them in, and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow.
I need to attend to the dead. Make sure their tags get back to their families. If you can harvest the machine hearts, I'd be grateful. we need. I should take these to Draka. <sighs> May the wings of the Ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah. At least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines, I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged too. Will you come with me? Lead the way. Glad to have you along. Think so many have to die just to get water. Did you try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear? <sighs> Please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that, wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Uh, can't blame me for trying. <sighs> this is it, where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry. They were warriors to the end. Someone's alive. By the rocks. Sense, soldier. Burrowers. Looks like we got a fight on our hands. Just getting started. <laughs> Thank you. 
you can catch me? Try your best. Underjaw's back. This is gonna get rough. Winds. Steady now.
turn into something tasty. going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh, I know I'm racking up favors here, but uh, did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy.
looks like a lens here. Scary rare person. Sand scraping at my armor.
this. They definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my tracks to find the tracks those riders left behind. first. Definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Machine riders from before. The ones who were racing. I don't know what they're up to. I won the race. Hey up. You threw a rock in my face. It's not like you can get any uglier. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, who are you? Riding machines, huh? Who taught you to do that? Hey, squad, we got someone with a death wish here. Whoa, look at that hair. What? Someone get a little lost in the desert? Hey, hey, what's that thing the Easterners keep saying we do? <laughs> oh, yeah. We all drink blood here, right? Maybe we should drink yours. You can try. Is that a challenge? Cool your blaze, Josek. Don't think you want to test your luck with a soldier that took down Regala's champion. We have no business with you, Outlander. I think we all had our fun. The road's right over there. Those machines used to be Regala's. But you don't look like holdouts to me. Who are you? How'd you get these mounts? Around here, you want something, you race for it. You cross that finish line first, I'll answer any questions you have. Aloy, you got a mount? Race is full. Actually, I think a spot just opened up. All right. What are the rules? Don't die. This ought to be good. Shut up, Pekka. This way, fresh meat. Let's get you that mount.
for talking, huh? It doesn't seem like I'm gonna get much out of this one. nothing but trouble. I should lie low, find whoever's in charge and take them out. Maybe then the rest will leave.
Seems Nox soldiers carry them, but never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers they killed. I'll keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later. Save the extra stock for later.
Gonna fill up while I can. Appreciate the extra pair of hands, Chaplain. <laughs> I didn't reach my aid without knowing how to mend a few wounds. Outlander, I offer you an honorable trade. You've returned. Where's Draka? <sighs> Just a little late, Chaplain. <clears throat> Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a thunder jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? Rumors have made their way west. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. That's... One way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan, but our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it.
Are you certain there's nothing you require? My stock will be here next My time. An honest trade is an honorable trade. 